Hi everybody, it's Nick. And today we're gonna to be looking at a 2014 Lincoln MKS. This is one of my favorite sedans. I'm kind of sad Lincoln doesn't make this anymore. They've replaced, this used to be the large sedan of the Lincoln lineup. That's now occupied by the Continental, which I think is an inferior vehicle. Sure, the MKS on the outside, it's kind of pedestrian looking, kind of bland looking. But where you fall in love with this vehicle, is the interior when you sit inside it the headroom it has the leg room uh just the look and feel of it on the inside and also the engine gotta love the engine in this one this one has the 3.5 liter eco boost man does it have a lot of get up and go it's a fun vehicle to drive uh so not much to say on the exterior here of the old mks it looks solid but it's not gonna win any beauty contest. On the inside though, that's where uh, you're gonna fall in love with it. I will point out, on the outside here, has the Ford invisible keypad. Also has proximity key with the sensor on the inside and the outside here. Here we go, here's our nice seats. They're very comfortable. Got dual panel sunroof. In this one, I will point out here on the driver's seat, got a lot of controls down here. You got obviously a full way power driver's seat. This for your lumbar. And this button is for the magic of the seats and that's the massaging seat feature. Uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel, powered. Uh, power adjustable pedals as well. A dual adjustable armrest here, which you can slide each portion out individually. That's pretty nice. Hideaway cup holders right there. I do like the fact that it has a rear sunshade and the button is inside here. You push that, sunshade goes up. Very nice. Push it again, it goes down. Also automatically comes down when you put the vehicle in reverse. Uh, odd placement here for two of our controls. We have the lane keeping system and the automatic park. So if we, uh, the active park assist as Ford calls it, you push the button and it'll look for a parking spot. It'll tell you when it finds one and then I'll even help you get into it. There's the massaging seat controls, which if you push the massaging button, it'll automatically turn it off or turn it on. And if you're in navigation or something like that, which this one has navigation, and you push the massaging button, it'll switch you over to that screen so you can adjust it if you want. Pretty cool. Digital controls here for the audio and the HVAC. Let's check out the back seats. Lots of leg room back here. You could easily fit three full size adults in this, no problem. I mean, I'm 6'2, tons of leg room. Uh, the back seats also feel nice, and also the headroom is important. Uh, plenty of space for the head, despite the fact with uh, the sunroofs, you know, sunroofs usually, usually cut down some of the headroom, but uh, still plenty of room back here. I uh, can't say the same, that's the big detriment to me for the Continental, is the headroom, it's got its sort of cropped roof line, just doesn't have as much headroom. It's a nice sort of, yeah, it looks kind of like a, a dome but that's what uh, gives it the ample headroom. I do like the trim, the, I don't know if it's real wood. I, I wouldn't doubt it's real wood. I think it looks nice, even if it's not. It looks good, it's put together well. Fit and finish is really nice. Obviously we get our backup camera there. Heated and cooled seats here in the front. Uh, this MKS is holding up very nice. 2014, so it's about five years old. This one has 48,000 miles on it. Uh, looks great, looks like it's holding together perfect. I don't see any issues at all, so fit and finish and reliability quality on the interior. Gets high marks on this MKS. Uh, what more can I say about it? I like the MKS. It's really fun when you get on that engine. Uh, kind of reminds me sometimes driving it. I used to have a Pontiac G8, 2008, it was that orange color. I love that car, uh, and I love the engine in it. Too bad 
I had to get rid of it. <laughs> the cops, the cops in the area did not like my orange G8, and any time I was out on a weekend, I was sure to get pulled over, regardless what I was doing. They just didn't like it. Well, that's all I can say about this Lincoln MKS. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you later.